Okay, so let's go in into Illustrator and let's design some jeans. Here's a picture, once again, that I got off the internet. I thought it was a decent pair of jeans to start with. And um, you can see some of the details there. Now, we're not going to copy the details, but we're actually just going to trace over the silhouette of the jean. Okay, so I've locked the image. I've selected it and then locked it. And now, speeding up the time, because you're familiar with the pen tool, you're going to trace around the edges. And this is pretty much the premise of how uh, I would design a denim that's not for a tech pack, but just basically for a line sheet to show um, the fabrication and the details of the denim and illustrator. All right. Now you're going to trace over all the stitch lines, all the major important lines, and I'm going to bring in a picture of denim that I scanned in. You can also find a picture of denim online, or you can scan it in yourself from a pair of jeans that you have. And I'm going to place that image behind the um, vector, and I'm going to create a mask by selecting the denim and the outline, and Apple 7. So now we're going to change the detailing of the stitch lines in your stroke palette. Change the color, change the weight, and I'm going to apply that there. And I'm basically I'm going to take the same kind of feel of what you see from the picture on the right, All right, and creating a zigzag stitch. Now I'm going pretty fast, so you can slow down this video and watch it in, in slow motion and kind of get a feel for what I'm doing. But it's it's mandatory that you explore Illustrator and see you know what the different tools are. Um, if you rewind this and then you slow it down, you'll see which tools I'm using. The gradient tool right here to create the metallic buttons. Okay, and I can play around with the slider and change the color there. So I'm changing the gradient from white to black to white to medium gray. Okay, in my color palette. And then we'll zoom in on the button and then create um, uh, a hole on the inside of the button. And show more detail okay there we go so let's drag another circle over it and we'll change the stroke color okay and the opacity all right now I'm going to do the shadowing I'm basically drawing vector in, you know vector lines where I'm gonna have my shadows on to the denim. I'm gonna also draw some white highlights. Okay, and you can do the same. And you'll go into your effect menu and scroll down to Gaussian blur, give it about three pixels, and what it'll do is it'll blur that out so it has a soft feel to it. You train change the transparency. To make it brighter or darker, um, you know, whichever it's all a matter of opinion, whichever works best for you, and then drag that over to your real gene there, and you'll see what a difference that makes, giving your your denim cad some dimension, and you're watching it all come together. So, like I said, you know, feel free to explore, you know, play around with it. Um, now that you saw basically how I did this, I can change the color on the highlight. I'll make it blue, make the shadow a little darker, and we'll jump to the back of the jean because you pretty much just saw uh, the premise of what I did here. No need to spend another five to ten minutes doing the back. You'll just apply the same, you know, techniques that I just showed here to the back of the denim. Okay, and there's the back. I right, dragged that picture in also from the internet, same denim, and. Let's fast forward and you'll see how I did the back there. I didn't place any details yet. I might grab my logo. Yeah, let's go grab my logo and then we'll do the back denim patch. Okay, let's copy, let's paste that over here. And let's show with that, that leather patches on the back of the jean. Now I'm gonna stretch my logo out and, you know, you can play around with this. You know, you can make it 
your logo, you can make it somebody's face, you can put whatever you want back there. I mean, it's it's your creativity that's going to set the difference, you know. Now I can write some text in here. And, um, you know, you want to be creative with this and kind of experiment. Or you, you might just want to play the safe route and make it look like somebody else's denim patch. It's up to you. It's whatever you want to do. It's no real rules. And there goes the finished uh, design. You can take a look at it. Alright, replay this, watch it over again.